An American has become the first person to traverse Antarctica alone without any assistance, trekking across the polar continent in an epic 54-day journey that was previously deemed impossible. Colin O'Brady, of Portland, Oregon finished the bone-chilling, 930-mile, 1,500-km journey on Wednesday as friends, family and fans tracked his progress online. I did it, a tearful O'Brady said on a call to his family gathered in Portland for the holidays, according to his wife, Jenna Bisa. It was an emotional call, she said. He seemed overwhelmed by love and gratitude, and he really wanted to say thank you to all of us. O'Brady could not immediately be reached for comment. Colin O'Brady with his sled Photograph, Colin O'Brady, AP The 33-year-old O'Brady documented his journey, which was almost entirely uphill and which he called the impossible first, on his Instagram page. He wrote on Wednesday that he covered the last roughly 80 miles, 129 kilometers, in one big, impromptu final push to the finish line that took well over an entire day. While the last 32 hours were some of the most challenging hours of my life, they have quite honestly been some of the best moments I have ever experienced, O'Brady posted. The day before, he posted that he was in the zone and thought he could make it to the end in one go. I'm listening to my body and taking care of the details to keep myself safe, he wrote. I called home and talked to my mom, sister and wife. I promised them I will stop when I need to. Though others have traversed Antarctica, they either had assistance with reinforced supplies or kites that helped propel them forward. In 2016, British explorer Henry Worsley died attempting an unassisted solo trip across Antarctica, collapsing from exhaustion toward the end of the trek. Worsley's friend and fellow English adventurer Louise Red is currently attempting an unaided solo in Worsley's honor and was competing against O'Brady to be the first to complete the feat. O'Brady described in detail the ups and downs along the way since he began the trek on the 3rd of November. He had to haul 170 kilograms of gear largely uphill and over Sistrugi, wave-like ridges created by wind. Not only am I pulling my sled all day, but I'm pulling it up in over thousands of these Sistrugi speed bumps created by the violent wind, he wrote in an Instagram post on the 12th of November. It's a frustrating process at times to say the least, on day 37, or the 9th of December, O'Brady wrote about how much he's changed, along with a selfie in which he looks almost in pain, snow gathered around his furry hat, I'm no longer the same person I was when I left on the journey, can you see it in my face, he wrote. I've suffered, been deathly afraid, cold and alone. I've laughed and danced, cried tears of joy and been awestruck with love and inspiration, though O'Brady had initially thought he'd want a cheeseburger at the end of his nearly impossible journey. Bisa said her husband has been fantasizing about fresh fish and